So what we're going to build today is a competition landing page. So you can send traffic to it and you can get submissions through and then also a place to store those submissions so you can actually share those with your clients. One of my clients, they actually do a lot of their marketing at conferences and what they wanted was a place to be able to send traffic. Uh, they wanted a sign printed out and they wanted to offer a prize pack and send traffic to this particular landing page. So this is actually the use case and this is actually what I built uh, for them. So I want to share that with you. So what you'll need for this is you'll need Elementor Pro, uh, you'll also need a free uh, Zapier subscription, and you'll also need a Google spreadsheet. So that's the flow that we're gonna work through. We're gonna have a landing page that connects to a pop-up on Elementor Pro, and then that connects using Zapier to a Google form so you can see the entries. This is the landing page where you actually send the traffic to. So I can just click on this enter to win, and then you can see that brings in the pop-up, put in my name, and my email in there. And then I'm just gonna put in test for the message uh, and then confirm entry. Cool, so the form was sent successfully and I'm gonna jump over to my other tab where I've got the Google form and you can see here that we've got the result freshly added in. All right, so the first thing that we wanna be doing is to build the landing page. So building the landing page in Elementor is really easy, which is absolutely fantastic. I've just added in an extra uh, photo from Unsplash. If you're not sure how to get it up to this point, then check out the video from Troy about how to build a rapid prototype. The link should be right here. So check that out and then that'll get you up to this point so then we can move forward with the rest of the tutorial. So the next thing that we wanna do is connect this call to action button to a pop-up with a form in it. And now all we need for this is Elemental Pro. So you go into your WordPress dashboard and then go templates, pop-ups, and then I'm just gonna go add new and then we're just gonna call this prize page. Now Elementor have loads of different pop-ups here, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, all different design styles, but I just wanna keep it nice and simple. So I'm just gonna go with blocks, and then I'm just gonna choose this block here and click on insert. All right, so it's nice and simple there. It's a bit too much padding going on there, so I'm just gonna go up to the top section and go into advanced, and then I'm just gonna change the padding to 20 and then 20, or maybe a little bit more, let's go 40, and then 40 on the bottom there. Now I don't need this call to action button, so I'm just gonna right click, click on delete, and then where the text is here, I'll just need to be inserting a form instead of having this text, so I'm actually just gonna delete that as well. We go into the options for Elementor, and then I'll find the form widget, and just drag that in. Excellent. Click on the settings here. So within the label, we'll just leave that there. And that's right, enter your name as the placeholder. And let's make that required. And then email, we'll write enter your email. Make that required as well. I'll uh, we'll put that in the placeholder. And then the message, what I wanna do here is just create like a bit of a question related uh, to the prize. So we'll say here in the label, we'll say what is your favorite WordPress plugin? And then we'll just delete the word message. And I'm just gonna leave that um, as unrequired. All right, and we'll show the required mark there. And then the submit button will change to confirm entry. Make it a bit, bit bigger. It's looking good. All right, so for actions after submit, we're just gonna delete email. I don't wanna receive an email for this. I actually wanna use a webhook, which is what I'm gonna connect over to Zapier. So you can see because I've put in webhook in there, this new option uh, has been added here for webhook. We're gonna get that from Zapier in a bit, but I just wanna get this pop-up and form connected to the call to action button first. Okay, I'm just gonna update the text there. Enter your 
details to win. Now that is enormous, so I'm just going to make that quite a bit smaller. I'll just set the typography back to default there, put it as a H, H2. That's looking pretty good. The next thing that we want to do is create the trigger. So when we actually on the landing page, the button uh, triggers this pop-up coming up. So I'm going to go down into the settings here and then over to advanced. And what I've done here is just input the class. So uh, full stop and then prize dash button I've added in here. So that actually means that when I add the class to the button on the landing page, it's going to trigger the pop-up. And I'll show you how to do that shortly. Next, we also want to have a look at the display conditions, triggers, and some of these advanced rules. If this is the first time that you've created the pop-up, when you hit uh, publish or update, it'll show you those automatically. But if you're revisiting this page and editing them, they're kind of tucked in here. So you don't, you don't see those automatically, which can trip you up, which actually did for me as I was creating this video. I've already updated so it doesn't run the rest of the settings. Oh. So we're just going to go into display conditions. Uh, conditions include entire site. We do want to have that. Triggers, we don't want to have anything there. And then advanced rules, we don't want to have anything there either. So I'm just going to go save and close. And then next, we're going to connect that to the button on the landing page. So moving over to the landing page, I'm going to edit this with Elementor. And then click on the button that I want the trigger to happen on. And then go over to Advanced. And then in the CSS classes, you note here it says add your custom class without the dot. So previously on the pop-up, you need to add the dot, but here you don't want to add the dot. So I'm going to type in prize button. Ideally copy and paste because you know you can be only human and prone to spelling mistakes, which can be, which can be incredibly frustrating. Uh, so I'm going to click on update now. And then I'll go up to the menu here and then view page. And then if I've done this right, click on this and we should get the pop-up. So there we go. Enter your details to win, and then there's the form. So now that we've got the landing page, and we've got the button, and we've got the pop-up with the form, the next thing we want to do is actually connect this uh, to Zapier and to Google Forms so we can see the entries as they're being submitted and actually share those to our clients. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to go to zapier.com. You can just sign up for a free account. I'm pretty sure you get around five different zaps is what they call it. So five different connections as part of a free account. And it's awesome. It's a great way of connecting two different tools to each other. So I've got a free account here. I'm going to go up into make a zap. And now the trigger app is going to be a web hook. So web hooks by Zapier. And I want to do the catch hook. So whenever there's a new post, put, or get request to a Zapier URL, I'll go save and continue. And then I want to copy this. So let's click on copy there. All right, so I want to put this into Elementor, into the form. So when a form submitted, it actually goes to this URL and it'll send the data over to Zapier. So I'm just going to connect that up to the pop-up now. So I'm just going to open up the pop-up field. I'll go into, into the settings here. So I'll just come back, click on the form actually. And then previously where we've got actions after submit, I put in a webhook. So that created this webhook section. So I'm just going to remove what's there and just paste in the webhook URL that I just copied from Zapier. Click on update. All right. And then I'm going to refresh the actual page that has that pop-up. Click on enter to win. And then we'll add in some details. Example content here. And then click on confirm entry. So that uh, says it's su successfully submitted the form there. So I'm going to go back to Zapier and say, OK, I did this. Cool. All right, that's looking good. There we go. So Simon, new form, example content here. So that's actually pulled in the data from that form submission. I'll click on continue. And now what I need to do is actually match this up to a Google spreadsheet and then match the actual forms. So it says I've um, yeah, the zap currently lacks an action step. So we've got the trigger and then we've got the action. 
So I'm going to connect this to Google Sheets. I've already authenticated with Google Sheets with my Google account. I want to create a new spreadsheet row within an existing sheet. All right, so I'm already connected. I'm just going to click on test, make sure that gives me a thumbs up. Looking good. Save and continue. All right, so now I can pick the spreadsheet that I want to work on. So I've already created this in uh, my Google Drive account. So I've got that right there. So if you haven't done that already, so make sure you go over to Google Drive and create a new spreadsheet in your account and then refresh this page and it'll appear here. So then I'll select the worksheet. So we just got sheet one. Um, currently, this is what my spreadsheet looks like. So I've just got the name of the different form fields. So name, email, and then what is your favorite plugin as the headings. So I already had this prepared. So then we've got here name. So we want it, it wants to match up the form field name with where it goes into the Google Sheet. So we go name, match that with name, email, email, and then what's your favorite WordPress plugin? Example content here. Go continue. All right, so now we'll actually send a test over to Google Sheets. Cool, so that's sent over. We'll go back over to my Google Sheets. Cool, and looks like that's worked. Back over to Zapier. We'll just go finish. And we'll call this prize pack WPE. And we'll turn that on. All right, so that's on. So now I'm going to go back to the landing page again. I'm just going to refresh that. All right, and then we'll enter the details again. Simon. Testing after Zapier. Confirm entry. And that was done successfully. And then over to the spreadsheet that you can see here, we've got my name, my email, and then testing after Zapier. So now you can actually share this spreadsheet with your client so they'll actually be able to see entries live for this competition without actually needing to log into WordPress at all. So there you have it. That's how you create a competition landing page that has an Elementor pop-up form that goes to Zapier that then goes to Google Forms. It makes it nice and easy for your clients to actually see the results as they're coming in without them needing to go forward and back uh, into WordPress and look at a particular database or you needing to be involved in emailing them at anything at all. Super simple process. There are quite a few moving parts to get it set up, but it's not particularly complicated at all. Elementor Pro, Zapier, and Google Forms just make it so easy to put stuff like this together. It's gonna, this is going to be jump cuts for days. Yeah. Let me go over here, Thank the you. whole thing. Okay. Like Leave me a comment. I'm not going to tell them to like the video. Like, like it. If you like it, you like it. Oh, maybe I will. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and don't forget to click on the bell icon and you'll be notified when a new video goes live. Of course, uh, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this and what else you'd love to learn in the, the WordPress tutorials, the how-to tutorials here at WP Elevation. I'd cut at that point and then...